Hi there, quick demo of a ceiling issue I see from time to time. It's all not all that uncommon for people to add an additional level for plenum spaces, it's particularly if they get an architectural model that hasn't taken into account that space and they need to do a heat and cooling load takeoff on the model. Um, one of the things that happens is when they add this plenum, uh, space is typically bounded by a ceiling object if its property for being bounded by a ceiling is set to room bounding. Um, so a ceiling object, roof object, floor object can be room bounding, and then the link, if the link is set to be room bounding, then those objects affect spaces in your MEP model. Now, uh, these guys are all local inside this file, so they're a little more interactive with me for the sake of the video. Now, if I go to my plenum floor plan, uh, one of the things that you might want to take into account is uh, view range. So if you're thinking about vertical height, you may want to adjust the cutting plane down to something closer uh, so that it's actually cutting uh, within the scope of that plenum as opposed to above it. And then the other thing you'd look at is if you go to space and you par try to park it in here. Uh, this happens quite often. If I click, you get a warning message that tells me that it can't show me that object for some reason. Now, um, it's certainly tall enough. If I look at the section, um, it doesn't show it to me here either. Uh, the subtlety here is that the ceiling object is a bounding object divides up ceiling and I found that there seems to be some sort of conflict between the ceiling and the base of a of a space object and if I were to just simply move this down as a demonstration of the issue once I move it down ah let's look the space wakes up and if I set that back to um, let's say I assign it to plenum level level two to go up to the, the floor above is cutting off the, the height of that volume there and if I just set the offset set this offset to zero, then um, it's going to finish off the same spot, but at least now it's constrained to the, the areas that I think are important to me. <coughs> so if you find yourself faced with a space uh, being added to a view, and notice in the plenum floor plan view I can see it again now, whereas uh, it was invisible to me both in section and in plan for a little while. Just an odd quirk. Um, and if you have ceilings in a linked file, you're not going to have a heck of a lot of control over that without talking to the architects in advance. So if you're going to add a plenum level, you might add the plenum level above the height, the top of their ceilings, so that their ceilings can be room bounding for their own purposes and, and yours. Uh, and then your new spaces can do their job above it. Uh, but it's something to be con concerned about. And particularly where you have multiple heights of ceilings, and you're trying to do one plenum for a large area and you have a, f a few different ceiling heights that could be tricky. Hope it helps.